Josh Allen, though, has clearly established himself as one of the better quarterbacks in the National Football League. But the question is now, will he this upcoming season establish himself as the quarterback in the NFL? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, and just like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't build up the anticipation, but it just feels to me that – so I was – like, not a Josh Allen believer at the beginning of his career. And he, like, justified my concerns about how he played. And then Stephon Diggs got there, and now I think he is amongst the best quarterbacks. There's not another quarterback out there that I'm saying, absolutely, give me him over Josh Allen because of all the things he can do, arm strength, accuracy, the, and, of course, his athleticism. Let's not forget that this man was jumping over defenders early in his yeah, career. Right. But all and that durable stuff. Durable throughout yeah, it all, too. Yeah, and all that stuff is really impressive and great and gives him the skill and ability to potentially be that guy. But that feels so disrespectful to everybody else. Like, this league is loaded with quarterbacks. To say that he is going to solidify himself as better than not only Patrick Mahomes, the guy he lost to in that crazy playoff Ugh. game, but also Aaron Rodgers, Joe Burrow, Herbert. Like, these, this league is loaded with great, great quarterbacks. Tom so Brady. It's, Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Lamar Jackson to Tom Brady. I mean, yeah, Tom Brady, too. I have to put him in there also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy, too, who's won seven Super Bowls. So... I, I, I mean no disrespect to Josh Allen. He is going to be – if he won the MVP, I wouldn't be shocked. But as the dude, like, I don't know if there is anybody who is capable of being the dude in the NFL outside of Patrick Mahomes because of the track record that he set up. If he can go back to those 50 touchdown type of years, then maybe we say he's far and away the best guy and do it without Tyreek Hill. Maybe. But it's hard for me to see uh, Josh Allen having such a great year that we're like, oh, he's the guy nobody else. That's wild. And, and all I'll add, because I know you're going to go the other side with this, <laughs> Canty, is they put him in position mm -hmm. to be the guy that you're talking about. Yeah. The continuity there by that franchise to say, we're going to give you the weapons. We're going to protect you. We're going to have a, a, a competent coordinator that's going to be there working with you throughout. And Dable, and now he's gone. And Ken Dorsey's going to be fine stepping in there. Yeah, because he was the quarterback coach. Because he was a quarterback yeah, coach, so, and the relationship yeah. is there. But yet, still, for all the reasons that Dominique mentioned, there's just too many other guys that I like ahead of him and have more confidence in. But the confidence is high with Josh Allen. Well, here's why I say he can do it, because Dom's talking about Pat Mahomes and the track record. Well, if Josh Allen, on his way to winning a championship, beats Pat Mahomes at some place in the AFC playoffs, then all of a sudden, yeah, we're looking at Josh Allen and saying, yeah, he might be the dude. He might be wearing the crown for now. And all I'm simply looking at is the physical abilities that Josh Allen is bringing to the table. There's nobody out there that has more arm strength than Josh Allen. There's nobody out there that can bring their own blocker like Josh Allen can mm -hmm. because you're talking about him being every bit the runner that Cam Newton was. So when he gets to the second level, he's not looking to only run around linebackers and defensive backs. He can run over them as well. So that's the part that I think he has bold in his favor as well. The continuity within the organization. Also, the supporting cast. You're talking about the only team in the National Football League that's bringing back a top five offense and a top ten defense. And so when you look at Josh Allen, it's all set up for him to have success. I think you got to have some hardware if we're going to call you the best quarterback in the National Football League. And I just look at his path to getting to the playoffs – I mean, Shay, you're probably hard-pressed to find a team that has an easier road to winning their division mm -hmm. than the Buffalo Bills. Maybe you want to say the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Maybe you want to say the <laughs> no, Indianapolis Colts. The but there's no team that has an easier road to getting to the playoffs than the Buffalo Bills. And I think they have the inside track to get the number one seed in the conference, but, but which means they're starting the playoffs in the divisional round. So I like how this all sets up for Josh Allen to have a wildly productive season. It's also criteria, right? Like, how are you, do how are you judging this? It if you go Super Bowls, it's Tom Brady. If you go resume, it's Tom Brady. If you go less with more, it's Lamar Jackson. If you go pure talent, mm -hmm. it's Aaron Rodgers. So these guys all at their best. I just can't pick Josh Allen. I think right. that's why I that's couldn't do this. Give me the field. Give me oh, the field. A field that involves Aaron Rodgers. You're never going to go and, Josh and, Allen. And Lamar first. Jackson. Yes. You give me that field, I'll so, take that field. And I Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.